What's up everybody, this is Rich and welcome to a special video-based Super MVC episode, or as we're going to call them now, Nintendo Video See Chat. See what we did there? Yeah, pretty special. So I'm here with so Audrey. So relaxing, these waves just crashing. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Audrey, we got Sam. What's up everybody? And we got Fran. Hello, I'm uh, back, the Fran Goat. I do right. say hello. I, I didn't, but I do. <laughs> say hi, yeah. Okay, so uh, you might be wondering what you're looking at here. You're obviously seeing Super Mario Sunshine. Um, and so to give you a little explanation of what we're doing with Nintendo Video Chat, every week uh, our goal is to pick a, a particular game, you know, kind of a game of the week of, of sorts. And if you're watching this, uh, you'll be able to see us playing the game. Uh, so Sam's actually going to be running through um, Super Mario Sunshine, just picking out some of his favorite levels and kind of giving you a tour of the game. It's actually the game's 10th anniversary this month um it's kind of a very mario august 26th uh, august 26th um you and feel old now yeah can you yeah. believe yeah. that i feel especially old <laughs> i was in middle school or high school high school yeah. i think um no just out of just out of high school whatever anyway. it's been so long you can't uh, i was dropping <laughs> exactly. out of a physics program in college and, and starting an english program because i wanted to be fran mirabella look at you now man <laughs> but look at you now look you're at playing me. the game you're in the room with fran mirabella at ign.com so since you all already <laughs> cut rich off 9.6 no is Since you cut them off, I did want to say, um, yeah. go to, if you're just listening, right. you know, you can hit this up very easily at go.ign.com slash NVC video two. Okay. It's because the first one we tried failed. So <laughs> go. We don't speak of yeah, that one. Yeah. Go.ign.com slash NVC video two. Yeah. And so if you guys are listening, like, and, and you're just listening through iTunes or something like that, our goal is to still give you Subscribe. A, uh, you know, a good... <laughs> Podcast, like yeah. we're still going to be talking about all the Nintendo news of the week. I've been playing um, New Super Mario Brothers, so we can talk about that. Exactly. You know, we're going to talk about the games that are coming in. We're going to be talking about the news. We're still probably going to talk about waffles versus pancakes and things. Waffles versus pancakes, reader Q and A, uh, all that stuff is all still a go. You're just going to have the extra benefit if you decide to watch the podcast of seeing a game in action. And a lot of you say you listen to the podcast at the gym or on the bus or something, and you know, you can still listen to it on iTunes or your phone probably has a video player. I'm pretty sure a lot of them yeah. do, so just put that little phone on the treadmill and watch yeah. away while you're listening. And, and I may running. be a new, but I swear my when I lock my phone, huh? it turns the video off. on Well, on YouTube, so maybe you need to get like the video version on uh, iTunes. But sure. what, if y'all out there know how to solve that, yeah. email us at... NBC at IGN.com. So stepping there on my is. point there, Fran. Sorry. <laughs> Fran, are you from the South? I just heard you say y'all. Like yeah, the South. Midwest, but we can come back to that later. <laughs> okay. Are we going to come back to that later? No, I don't I'm lying. I'll be back to that Segway. later. It's a good word, Fran. <laughs> it Stand is. by that word. Okay. All right. Why so... aren't you proud of your Midwest heritage, Fran? <laughs> <Yeah. There. laughs> I'm from Iowa City. I'm so, uh, so suppressed. So, Sam, real quick, just uh, where are you in the game? Like, what's what are you doing right now, actually? So, I'm in Fran's favorite level, Noki Bay. And, Thank you, uh, Sam. Yeah. Well, you mentioned this earlier. Fran actually reviewed the game. For IGN.com, which is August 22nd, amazing. 2002. <laughs> yeah. It was a dark and stormy night. <laughs> yeah, and Fran was running a, a channel called uh, Insider, which I was looking at earlier today, too, before he worked for IGN. And Dash Sider. Yeah. And Dash Sider. I started that site. Well, we had plans to start, and then I got hired. And then a bunch of other people run it now. Yeah. Is this still... Is this still Oh yeah, it's still kicking. Uh, I own the domain name, and um, <laughs> I just do it because it's a fondness. But I, you know, I pay for it, and oh, that's cool. you know, I just don't want to give it away. But I let them do whatever they want with so it. So it's cool that Fran's here, watching us play and uh, talking to us, and producing this episode. Yeah. So yeah. if I could just quickly say, since oh, for crap. all those of you watching, uh, this when I played this level for the first time, you know, I just couldn't believe like how it was running and how it looked. I mean, back in two thousand two, so, it's for, not widescreen. If wide you play this game but aren't watching, it's it's the seashell based climbing level. No key bay. Like a big fire, big waterfall. Yes, yeah, so it's this, really pretty. It has like rainbow sheens on the yeah, water. This game still looks so it's beautiful. It, and like it just looks, it looks better than a Wii game in some respects. Yeah, I think I would say and, and equal well, it's the same the hardware, Sam. It's not <laughs> basically, yeah. Almost. I mean, the uh, the interesting thing about watching this game now is that outside of maybe uh, the, a dozen or so Wii games, this looks better It'll than be those, like or at least equal. Other ones, mm -hmm. yeah. it's really a fair well. point, but yeah. but we don't have to dwell on too long. But if Sam, you can make it to the top of the, actually the shell in the center of the water and like get on those bands oh, um, if okay. they're still active. <laughs> it's just a beautiful sight. So we'll challenge Sam to do that and, and yeah, maybe we'll move on. Um, yeah. So let's get on to Nintendo news though. Um, so there's actually been a lot happening in the past week, which is kind of astonishing because Audrey 
Adrian and I are used to absolutely <laughs> nothing going on and we're having to make things up. But it's um, a true story. Summer. It's true actually story. been yeah, a little busy. Yeah, when you busy. guys say slow news day, IGN, that hits home. Yeah, <laughs> we, we cry and shed gentle tears and then try and make up things to talk about. Yes. Um, but so in the past week, we've had a, a few developments. Uh, one is we know two more launch games for Wii U. Um, <gasps> what EA, are they, Rich? Yeah, well, so EA um, in the past week or so announced three, well, they announced two new games. Uh, Madden NFL 13, so that's cool. I mean, it's kind of expected. Madden comes to like everything under the and sun. And that's coming yeah. out this month for everybody else. Right, it's coming out the very end of this month for for like Xbox 360, into. PlayStation. Uh, but it will be a launch game for Wii U. Um, slight down note on that, aside from being uh, you know uh, roughly a month or two later uh, than everybody else, is that it's actually not going to feature the new physics engine that everyone else gets. Um, oh. So it definitely is what I would probably call a scaled down version of NFL 13 or, uh, because basically EA's rationale was that this is brand new hardware. This is a brand new system. They weren't completely familiar with it. At least this is what their excuse is. Yeah. Um, it, weren't completely familiar with it, so couldn't get everything operational. Yeah, and it just that bothers me so much. I, I agree. And, I agree. and what, the, my, what bothers me the most is that I personally, I keep calling the Wii U like a three-year console because... I don't know. It feels like it's underpowered. And it, out of out of the gate, it's already facing port problems. Like it's supposed sure. to be at least equal, and it's actually not even going to be yeah. easily equal. Now that's I do believe that they probably can get this physics engine working with some time, but it's pretty telling of I, I would, the challenges ahead. I fully expect that you know if they had if they had more time or and or put the manpower into it that they could have got that thing working. Yeah, there the are re- other developers who have said that it's easy to develop for, so yeah. it's really mixed. I don't think that's the issue. There's just not enough power to make it that simple. I mean, it's not one to one with Xbox 360 and PS3. Well, you can see thing. that already. I wonder, you know, you you can go look at it one of two ways. Is this EA not putting enough manpower in it to actually execute this thing the way they? should that's fair or is it nintendo not getting ea the resources and hardware they need in time to actually execute this thing for launch or a mix of both yeah that's Um, a good point maybe it's both right so i mean that's the question i wouldn't be surprised if it's both on some level so um regardless though i think it's disappointing uh but the cool part is is that you're actually able to draw your plays on the fly there's a lot of interactivity with the gamepad which obviously you're not getting on 360 ps3 so kind of cool did they talk uh, specifically about I mean, is it mostly I wasn't, just... I wasn't at the event, so I don't okay. know, like, the complete details. I do know that there is gamepad interactivity. Right, right. Though, yeah, so. I don't know anything Sweet. about football, but I heard that part, so... <laughs> I, think, I mean, it's, it's going to make for a, a great commercial, so I think that... Uh, you can yeah. the that's circles a system and the lines idea, yeah. and the stuff, I would Telestrating. imagine. Yeah. I mean, I, I like that idea. Um, I'm personally... I mean, I like football. I watch football games uh, ready weekly. Ready for some football! Yeah, but I don't really play Madden, but I will be curious to see what this experience is like, and maybe it's something that actually is able to push me over the edge. Uh, um, yeah. I do know that Greg was actually talking about the physics engine when he saw the other versions of the game and said it was actually a very significant difference. Um, so hearing that is very disappointing because I'm like, well, I want that yeah. on Wii U yeah, too. So, yeah. um, Did Sam never make it up there? Uh, Sam's failing I ran currently. Out, I ran out of uh, liquid. I thought you just go to the water, bottom Sam, in the center of the water, water <laughs> and then you just go straight up the spiral. The spiral? What are you talking about? The conch shell Sam, in the center of the water. For the next hour, Fran is going to Monday Night Quarterback I your game. No, I'm not. I'm adding <laughs> a little context to our video chat, and uh, I really want to see that just view. Say, well, it's why gorgeous. Don't you do it and just shove the controller in. But, yes. That'll back, happen back eventually. Do you just want to see the view? I can show you All right, the video. So, get out of this hellish level. <laughs> back to uh, EA, though. A pretty, pretty view for um, So the other game that got announced, this one we don't know uh, if it's launched yet or not, um, but this is FIFA 13. So the other football is coming to Wii U as well. Um, that was actually that coverage got handled out of our UK team because they understand so- soccer slash football, and I don't know a thing about it except the field's big and I get bored when I watch it. So it's only uh, the biggest sport in the world, isn't it, problem? Fran? Real football, I know. Versus I don't really watch the other sports, football so. in the rest of the world. It's a topic for it later. can be bigger in the rest of the world, but for me, it's not. That's fine. <laughs> anyway, uh, they announced FIFA for 13 confirmed. I mean, you know, Madden and FIFA were long rumored to be for the Can system. Can we get to the Animal Crossing news? Jesus. <laughs> I know. Oh, you know, I don't have that written ooh, on here, ooh, so Audrey, make sure. Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. no Audrey's <laughs> literally like jumping out. <laughs> quiet, of okay. quiet, Audrey. Okay, uh, wait. All right, so we already knew Mass Effect was coming to Wii U, but we now know it's a launch title for yeah, the system. Yeah, yeah. Um, we know that there's going to be an interactive comic book element uh, to make That's the awesome. choices through one and two. Same so as PS3. Sort of re- exactly. So you can sort of recreate. Like, without couldn't playing play the first, Mass Effect 1. It allows you yeah. to make all the choices without the fun of actually Are playing the games. Play yeah. so one, one is rough around the edges. So I, I appreciate I that you can That's just play through. Audrey, are you going to play Mass Effect 3? 
yeah. You know, mind. here's here's the funny thing is, you have is no that interest in I it, played one. I played a lot of two, but you're not going to play three. I can always mute them, Rich. I'll play I'll play that'd be two. amazing. I actually have Mass Effect three. Just haven't. That's I've, actually. I've been so freaking busy. I haven't had a chance to play it yet. That's actually I, a thing I with me too. Been intending to. I have it sealed in my apartment. Exactly. And it's like so. Like, not maliciously. Just we go from game to game to game. Mm-hmm. It's like it's hard. It's to a hard knock life. It's hard being to fit. A games reporter. <laughs> well, no, it's it's hard to fit in games you're not reviewing or. It is true, actually. You. It's like even just seeing movies you want. You're like have to play some B level type game, you exactly. know, you just got to do it. Like, yeah. I mean, you I think try to beat it. The trick for me is I can fit in smaller games into sort of my agenda and, and, and ra- run through them and then mm-hmm. move on. But fitting an entire like 40 hour RPG exactly. can be very difficult. Like, at 40 th- 3DS plus. stuff is sort of easier. You can just right. jam in 30 yeah. minutes here. Or there yeah. Like, you, have like time. you and I didn't review the new Super Mario Brothers too, but that takes like six hours and we're like, okay, done. Yeah. Exactly. You know, and that was yeah. fine. But what's um, interesting is you guys haven't had a chance and well, you might just be able to play it on the Wii U yeah. anyway. So it, the, it, there are people out there, obviously, you know, still. So, you know, it's not crazy to think that it's no. somewhat of a big title at launch. I mean, I think a lot of people are, are making the point, and, and, I, and I think there's a fair point to this about a lot of the old games coming to Wii U. But at the same time, yeah, exactly. Like, a lot of people don't necessarily buy every single game that comes out there, and maybe yeah. Wii U gives them a second chance. So. One of the cool things is that Mass Effect 3 is coming with the uh, Leviathan DLC yeah. and the other DLC included in it. So if you have, if you missed it for whatever reason, you didn't have time, you didn't have the system, like, now you can play it with actually the more expanded ending because from what I hear a lot of people weren't happy with the way it was yeah, that's what I heard I, yeah. I, I know some people that were like angry and throwing things and I stuff, saw some so hilarious videos goes. of people who were angry and throwing things yeah, but yeah. Um, alright so in other news oh well in just to note that you know Madden and Mass Effect are joining things like Nintendo Land Zombie U um, and this is all of course last we heard these are launch titles so Nintendo Land Zombie U and Ninja Gaiden 3 Darksiders uh, 2 um, so we'll see if all those actually do in fact make yeah. the launch um, that's what we heard. So, uh, do you guys do, have you thought? Like, do you get a sense of when launch might be at this point? I think that you know, especially because we haven't heard ah, of any of this yet. Work. Oh, Sam just died. Um, because we haven't heard yet of a launch, I don't think there's any chance of it coming out before November. Um, I yeah. think that if you look That's at what everyone's been, thinking, I think it's November honestly. 18th because it's, it's the Sunday before it's, Thanksgiving. It's been yeah. November never done that before, for several friend. years. Never. <laughs> I mean, I mean, for for a few generations now. I think the last time they didn't launch N64. in November was N64. Yeah, was. yeah so it's been a while. Um, yeah, I mean, I really do think it's November. Uh, I just can't fathom it being earlier. For the 3DS, they announced the release date of late March in January. Mm-hmm. So if you sort of trace it back, then that seems like there's going to be something in September indicating November. Yeah. Uh, December is insane, yeah. and October feels way too soon. Like, I just don't think they're going to announce something this month or next month and be like, hey, yeah. four weeks from now. That it's just seems crazy. And they got to manufacture. Right yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, everybody needs as much time as possible to finish this yeah, stuff. Plus, exactly. manufacturing the consoles. I'm sure they're already manufacturing, tricky. but it's like shipping, marketing. Yeah. You know, you got to actually advertise the thing. You can't pull a Saturn and just have it show up someday. <laughs> yeah. You know, you actually have to lay the, the groundwork for this thing. So, I mean, and while I'm sure a lot of that's getting done, they, you know, it takes time. So they, they yeah. can't just, like, make this thing show up out of nowhere. So I think anybody expecting, like, October is just crazy. Um, I mean, it just seems like November. Yeah, no, I, there's no way. It's one of those, we like, given things. Right yeah. around now. I mean, really, yeah. really the big question marks aren't necessarily when, but it's, like, how much and what games. You know, I think those are the big questions versus, like, when. I don't totally. even care when. I'm, like, November, duh, obviously. Yep. Um, and actually, speaking of sort of getting into that sort of launch time frame, uh, we now know what the boxes of the Wii U games look like. Uh, it's amazing, right? Yeah. Do, you think, do you think that's legit? It is legit. Nintendo confirmed it uh, yeah. this so morning to were me. Were those Ubisoft oh, wow. leaks? I mean, where did um, that come from? So basically what's happening is is that, and actually Nintendo gave me a, I, w- I just said, are these boxes real? And they gave me this very lengthy explanation, which I was <laughs> incredibly surprised by. Um, so basically Nintendo finished the, the, the formal design for the boxes, and then re- uh, third parties have been applying their own box art to those designs and then giving them to retailers, and it actually came through retailers. So Amazon and that sort gotcha. of stuff. So it's legit. GameStop. Yeah, it's uh, completely blue. legit. Uh, that I don't know. I, I mean, don't know. I mean, it makes sense, but I mean, but that's the, the color, right? It's, yeah. So the the logo treatment. Uh, so you guys can't see this, not even on the video version. I'm holding up a box, but uh, you know, the blue part of the the t- traditional Wii U logo mm-hmm. is blue. You know, the actual U part has a blue tint to it. Yeah. So I think that's kind of where they're going with it. It's always um, been the lights on the. It's the a visual. And yeah, stuff. it's visually distinct from the white of the Wii box. So I think that was important to them. Yeah, they're um, really, really focusing on keeping the separate from the Wii experience. Except for the design, except of the for the name. 
name, system and the, and the name. Yeah. Yeah. That, that Except for the all the other things. I think it's a huge joke. Are you trying to make a joke? That was the joke. Oh, can you explain the joke some more, Audrey? Well, clearly, I need to. You guys are a little slow today. <laughs> oh, so mean. All right, so... I really thought you were being serious. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Um, I was confused. So here's the thing. <laughs> Box itself, kind of a darkish blue. Um, we actually, like, made a mock-up of it in the office, but uh, we got the blue kind of wrong. But, um, oh, well. Yeah, so blue box, as Fran just mentioned, and then the top of the box actually has a very GameCube-esque kind of arc I going to it, to it um, yeah. with kind of a gold trim underneath mm-hmm. and Wii U logo in blue, uh, or uh, Wii U logo in white on a blue background yeah. at the top the of the curve. Yellow um, people are really thing. upset about the gold, the gold yellow slash yellow trim, whatever you want to call it. I really don't know why. I don't care. Gold yellow trim on what? Uh, See, so the top the oh, yeah, if you look at it, um, right trim. under the arc, there's yellow separating. Yeah. yeah. I see. I mean, it's not anything that's going to keep me up at night, but I mean... <laughs> Apparently, it's keeping it's some not, other people up at night. I'm, I'm not like, crazy yeah. about it. It seems silly to, to care that much, but yeah, it, it does like, differentiate it, you know? I mean, although looking back, it was crazy when it was neon green for Xbox stuff, and sure. that was a big move, and most I, most yeah. stuff back then was just like Guys, black or I just want to point out, I'm, I'm, I'm in this my favor level right now, but oh, uh, cool. I'm remembering where all the red coins are. For a level I've really? played since I was it's impressive. You know, twenty. Yeah, yeah the one thing well, you, I, I wanted to say about Sunshine actually is, um, I at least for me, I haven't played this game in about ten years. Like it came out, I played it for a few months or whatever, and then I think uh, uh, Metroid came out, and that was my obsession then. Because um, yeah. I, I didn't, you know, I back then I bought you know a game or two, and then I, I played those for a while. Jeez. So. Um, Audrey, when's the last time you played Sunshine? Oh, it's been a few years. Few I think years the last time I played it's, it was like it's an awesome early game. college or something. Like, college. It's a great and game. Fran, when's the last time game. you played this? Uh, well, not setting counting up like messing around today. For the, po- the yeah, podcast today, but today. not today. counting that. Yeah. I mean, the right, a little right, after so. the review. I mean, yeah. so it's been like 10 years. Yeah. And, <laughs> and you actually, well, we'll get we'll get to it. Yeah, yeah. We'll we're going to come back to the full-on Mario Sunshine at some point. Yeah, one of the things I should mention is for the game of the week type idea, we're actually going to dedicate a small segment to talking about the game specifically. And if you're listening, it's still cool. You can talk about the game. Yeah. But on to more important matters. Animal Crossing. Okay, okay, fine. Animal Crossing. There's going to be a gardening center, and it's going to be run by a sloth. Oh my goodness. Does it, yeah. does it matter that it's run by a sloth? I think, is I think that it important? Does. Audrey and I does think it, it does. Okay, why? Yeah. Why? Why? What? God, this, Rich, is so this is a big debate. This is a big debate. Like, my, my general. Because he's really of... slow and needs help from you. That's true. Because he's I'm used be to like, this by now. This is my life. No, but I mean, just talking about me? No, I was. That was totally a double entendre. I was talking about the sloth in the game. They designed him to be slow, and he's going to be like, I need your help. Oh. Right? He would take so long to plant That's what I'm thinking. He's like, can you help me? That's what she was thinking. The second you said that, that's she, well, she thought you were saying Obviously, it was mean. that's where my mind goes. I'm going to say right now. She's been mean so, this whole podcast. What guys, is going on? Is this on? just a flower shop, or can you like actually make a garden with like stuff that's Who actually cares? We don't know the specifics yet, Sam, but we do know that they're going to sell flower seeds and tree saplings. So, Fran, Fran, you, okay. Fran you, you've yeah. been gone for a while, but <laughs> yeah. the gen- my general lack of concern and, about Animal Crossing is well known at this point. Rich, we're gonna, we're gonna gonna get, be great. We're going to get mean emails about you because you're so negative about this. And I'm only being mean to Rich because he's being mean to Animal also, Crossing. Also, I want to hear what Rich has to say. I, mean, I just like, don't care about Animal Crossing. Right, yeah. It is about as numbing to me as actually doing gardening or right. mowing the I, lawn or anything just else go that's for boring. Just a cup of java at the roost, man. It's I'll relaxing. Go, no, 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 no. When okay. I want to go relax <laughs> at a coffee Audrey. shop, I will go get coffee at my coffee shop. Rich, you're so You know what's really bum, perhaps bum, bum, slightly... And then I'll go play a better game. Isn't it? Bum, bum, Burn. Bum, bum, now, what are you doing? I'm going to... I'll just just singing what? everybody. Just so <laughs> interesting though, Rich, isn't Nintendo Voice Chat yeah. originally named after oh, their gosh. attempt wow. to put voice mm. in Animal Crossing? No, I, it's, no. It's the... I believe the voice is named after the fact that we, for the longest time, just did had no voice communication ability. Right? What was, uh, it was what was, it was Sam? Named what was it called? The... It was, I thought, what? named it after the, that. It was called uh, Voice we, Chat. We, we can review. We can review. No, 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 no. no. We can review the back audio. Uh, remember they? they it was. Oh. It was Nintendo Voice Chat. Exactly. It was the peripheral that first came. And, but it was City for Folk. Animal Crossing, right? It was right? for Animal Crossing City right. Folk, and that's the only thing they ever used it for. Exactly. But I think, that I think is what it was the named name after. of the podcast that specifically, wrong. and someone will write in and tell us differently. But I think the name Pray of the cares. podcast specifically. Yeah, right. I think it came specifically because. There was no voice chat, and they did it mockingly, and then it showed up, and they were like, oh. Yeah, that's oh, right. That's it right. came right. before yeah. the actual thing. That's yeah. correct. Yeah. All right. I, know that well, I mean, come on. Can, 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 Cass and Messina would not miss an attempt to <laughs> mock, mock them. Yeah, yeah, sure. Exactly. So, I mean, you know. All right. So, um, box art, box design confirmed by Nintendo. Oh, and Nintendo also said that, obviously, some of the third-party stuff, uh, we know this is in the case of Ubisoft, uh, third-party stuff. 
could be legit. Nintendo has yet to actually release any official box art for their games. And they said they're coming eventually. Um, well, of course, they are coming eventually. They're gonna, well, yeah, yeah. They said <laughs> coming. I think happen. they said coming soon, but I don't know what that means. Yeah. You know, soon is very relative. So so we don't middle. even know when the freaking system's coming out. Oh, come November on, Sam. 18th. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Um, I mean, to me, the price is so much more interesting. And I really want to know if Nintendo Land will be packed in. We actually have started mm. to see suggestions uh, from retailer entries that it might be sold separately, which I think is oh. insane I of them. I think that's a bad move. But it's so like vague, and retailer entries show up for things all the time that we're yeah. sort of holding off a little bit, yeah. honestly, for like official story. But um, plus, quite honestly, they have to announce all these details very soon. Yeah. So we'll find out soon enough. So, yeah. Um, but let us know what you guys think about NBC at if you would com. actually pay $60 to play, play Nintendo, Nintendo Land. Land. Yeah. yeah. I honestly, I would tell you I would pay I'd be willing to pay 30 to 40, I think. Um, especially if it was something like sign on to the eShop and get a discount or something like that, like I would yeah. totally hands down do that. Um, oh, this level is cool, Sam. Yeah, this is a good level. I want to explain more. I'm at the very top of a giant palm tree in the middle of this this mushroom-based kind of level. Like I've like collected eight seeds. coins, and I need to get to the Shine Sprite, which is out on a cloud, and I'm out of water, and it's going to be <laughs> very difficult. Oh, uh, yeah, you really need water for And the other, this, the other thing you? is there's little pollen seeds sort of like floating in the air, and so, you're riding them Yeah, right one out. thing about Sunshine is that, you know, there's... Uh, oh, God, this game's sorry, awesome. That there's um, no... There's no nice. smart camera. There's completely free camera, so it's really hard to kind of get depth. Yeah, depth you're perception. controlling it with the Stuff the right stick. That almost was nice like a reaction to Mario 64, which sort of forced you into like five or six fixed positions with the with the yep. C buttons. You could kind of yeah, you could rotate in about four uh, horizontal based camera positions, and there was like sort of a back out, yeah. like two yeah, levels yeah. of back out. So in Sunshine, they just gave you complete freedom. Yeah. Um, one, one really important thing they did is, uh, Sam, if you can go behind a... Yeah, so yeah. you'll notice the, you see your silhouette at all times. Um, and it seems really strange hmm. by today's game standards, but it totally solves a lot of the problems. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know if I've seen anyone do that anymore. Mario They just design a better camera. I think, you, but I think you still do see it. Mario yeah. Galaxy does it. Still in Galaxy, huh? Yeah. It's so seamless. Because mm -hmm. yeah. it just... You never lose track It shows yourself. question marks for coins and, and piantas yeah. when they're behind walls. It's really interesting. I like that. Strange. That's cool. Yep. All right. Um, back to launch, launchy Wii U stuff. Uh, black Wii U. How many of you guys would buy a black Wii U over a white Wii U if it was available at launch? Well, is there any question? Not, yeah. Yeah. No, no. All you guys would, b would go black? Yeah. Uh, I would buy white. I, 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 Why, Sam? Because I like the uh, sleekness of it, and I want my mm. girlfriend to be confused every time she tries to play a Wii <laughs> Good. game. Good. No, you answered right. The question is, can you get a Wii... Black Wii gamepad as well. I assume that if I it's a black Wii, then right? it would yeah. come in with it. Yeah, because I mean, like, I think Nintendo's going to make every effort to try and not sell you a second gamepad because they'll have to price it at like a hundred dollars, and everyone will be like, "What the hell? Yeah, why was this controller?" $100? I thought they're supporting that though, right? So there, there is the technical idea that it can support it? more. They haven't can, showed any games that require exactly. Two. It can support can two. two. That actual functionality would probably be far off in yeah. the distance. Yeah. Um, anyway, so there you said black though, right, Rich? Black. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think so. I think yeah, so. See, I, think I mean, answered. well, here's the weird thing: is is like I really want a white 3ds XL. Um, there's a weird I've got thing that yeah, that is cool. So Sam's in the uh, what? What was the level called? Uh, this is Serena Beach. It's this a, level's it's really hotel nice. Level. It's actually an annoying level in a lot of senses. There was tons of paint and tar. You don't even see it anymore, right? It was. Yeah, that was. That's the yeah, one the thing you're not thing. seeing the in the game right level. now. You might want to go to er, an earlier point. No, no, no friend, you, I just went to a different shine spray. Oh, okay. Get. That's in the very first one. This that I've raised the hotel by this point. Uh, and the reason uh, I'm playing this is that there's a, a cool little fact that I was just reading about where um, it, it made, made a big point I to make this. realistic Mario spaces in this game, huh. like actual towns. And then um, they were like, "Oh, what, what if Mario's hopping around inside a hotel?" <laughs> and like, you know, that's just things that like aren't part of the normal Mario yeah. fantasy world. So part of its development was to make levels like this where i mean it's just an interior space you're never going to see in a mario game again there's like good point you know tables to sit at and people walking around it's just very strange yep um wii u yep black wii u uh yeah i mean we're starting to see hints that uh black wii u might be available at launch yeah. Sign um, me up. which is kind of interesting so we don't have any confirmation i reached out to nintendo for comment and they basically said when we're getting ready to announce all the rest of the launch details like price and all that yeah. sort of stuff if there's co uh, color configurations, we'll announce them then. So no dice on getting anything like that. We got the box confirmation, but we're not going to get the, the Wii U color confirmation. Um, but we are starting to see retailers list the SKU. Um, oh, you, you were asking me, Fran, if I would buy uh, Black Wii U at launch. I 
don't know, honestly. I like white system designs. I think that's just cooler looking. Um, that's racist. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> really racist. But I mean, the, the, the problem is, is that like, you know, it's funny because Audrey, you and I are just looking at the top 25 Wii games and that system mm-hmm. has like a phenomenal library. Does, and yet something yeah. in my brain wants a system that looks and has a different sort of uh, sensibility Feel. and aesthetic to it than Wii. I don't know why. It's just sort of like a instinctual, instinctual well, reaction like, to it. Well, it's just like not even why. taking away from Wii's generation. Like, it did a lot of great things. It had a lot of great yeah. games. Galaxy, Skyward Sword, sure. like uh, Wii Sports even, you know, had good stuff. But I am just was ready and excited for ready a for whole new generation. Different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something I different it, for the I think it's, offer. No, maybe, maybe, it, maybe it will be, but yeah. for now it feels like a continuation. Well, maybe you guys generation. disagree with this, but and it's a little different since it was your job most of the time during its lifetime. But this is the first <laughs> system that with me and very many Nintendo fans Mm -hmm. that also supported and loved GameCube, they shelved it for a while and it collected dust. And I don't know Mm -hmm. how many people I talked to it collected dust. So I think there's that perception of like, all right, this wasn't completely for me, but hey, glad they're doing something new, but it still feels like it's connected to it because of the design. The design, the the actual like physical design of the system, I think so. Um, It's it's very, very similar. It's it's actually longer and it's way heavier, but uh, yeah, it it still very much reminds you of Wii. I mean, the other thing about Wii is like, I don't don't know about you guys, but when it was GameCube and even in 64, even when they were like really dead spells of software, when new software came out, you recognized that it could be for you. Like it definitely was for you. Um, maybe you didn't want that game, but you were like, okay, this this mm-hmm. could be something for me. Whereas a lot of times with Wii, you would go through these dry spells because you were like, there is no way in hell I'm playing Wii music. Like that is just not at all for me. Wii Party, not for me. Mm-hmm. Wii Sports Resort, not for me. And And I think for a lot of folks, they were just like, this system is not designed for me. So I think... That similarity is is you know yeah. is well, definitely thing frustrating that is to some. Hurting it from separating it from the Wii generation is that every commercial or conference you see for it shows families in yep. a white living yeah. room with three Wii remotes. You know. Yeah, like, I you know in the deja vu. It, and it's trick because I'm torn on this. Like, and I mean we've talked about this in the past, but like at the same time, like I don't want Nintendo to act like this is something it's not. Like this is yeah. not yeah. another a new Xbox 360 or PlayStation. Like those do something else and they do it very well. Nintendo also does something very well, but for them to sit there and be like, "This is totally for the hardcore. This is totally for the hardcore," mm-hmm. is a mistake. Be but, do what Apple does and say you're different and explain why. Well, like, I think don't, that's why everyone was so know. disappointed in E3. Honestly, is because right leading up into it, Nintendo was like, "You know, this system is going to be about the hardcore. We learned our lesson from the 3DS. You know, it's going to be all about you guys." And so we're like, "Oh, great! What are they going to bring? Zelda, Metroid? It's going to be crazy!" Mm-hmm. And then it was. A, Mini game. There's a collection. lot of yeah. There's, we found out they don't know what they're going yeah, to bring. They're so, so unprepared. I mean, not to say it's not mm-hmm. going to be a really Ugh. fun mini game collection, well, but and, and here's the thing too: is still, they're like, not what we're, we're looking for. We're going to have all the games you want, and it's like, well, you didn't have Bioshock, you didn't have Resident Evil, you didn't have Tomb Raider, you didn't have Watch Dogs, you, you know, and you just go down the list. So, you know, but at the same time, it's like Project P1. I'm super excited Guys, for Watch Dogs and all. Oh yeah, what's up? Bathrooms only, only toilets, <laughs> possibly in the Mario series. I'm not sure. All right, let's yeah. not they're do another classy. Mario <laughs> poops video. <laughs> 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 Uh, By the way, it's, no. let's do one. It was like what Link poops. Yeah. IGN made this video. Uh, like yeah. it was no, so no. funny to like no, Brian I, Altano and some other people, yeah. right? <laughs> I remember that. They're like, you can use the bathroom in Skyward Sword. It was like oh, you're so juvenile. That. Although that was such a bizarre design decision in the game itself. It was weird. So like, yeah. what? Why can I do this? I don't even then understand. Then he flushes it when you stand up. It was strange. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was it was goodness. a strange design decision. It's like. You know, I mean, but then again, you know, you got bathrooms in this Mario Sunshine, so not unprecedented Skyward Sword <laughs> innovation lacking. Um, but hey, we never got to see Mario next to the plumbing that close, so that's, hey. true. that's something else. That's there true. we go. See what Except I did. for in the cartoon series, where oh we yes, had, uh, uh, or the Lou movie Al- Lou Albano. Yeah, yep. yeah. Um, okay, so anyway, talking about uh, different color variations that we launch. Um, Capcom, one of the big outstanding uh, Japanese third parties, um, and they were they supported 3DS in a big way at launch. Mm-hmm. Not at, well, yeah, at launch with Street Fighter, but also when the system was announced at E3 2010, they basically said Resident Evil one, you know, one Resident Evil game, two Resident Evil games, Street Fighter, mm-hmm. huge amount of support, and they've been very quiet on Wii U. Uh, finally, the other day, and by, this is by no means like something concrete, but it's a glimmer of hope. So it's all we've got yeah. right now. Um, but they basically just said. Uh, you know, there's stuff coming. But that's all they really said. They just sort of hinted at it in a broad sense. We really don't have any details beyond that, though. I think it's um, definitely And we don't Mega know when Man. or anything. We have no, like, real... And it could just be... Not really. 
them trying to keep a glimmer of hope or something. Yeah, sometimes they do that for investors' sake too, right? And they're sure. just like, yeah, yeah we're going to support it sometime, and it might not be till 2013. And- yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's true. I mean, it could, it could be, you know, like, you know, Nintendo, if you're like, where's the next big game? Well, of course we have big games in the works, and, you know, and it's, it's yeah. Wii Sports or something. Yeah. So. yeah. Just touching on what you said before that I did once, yeah. I think 2013, yeah. sort of towards the end, like mm-hmm. you always see with these systems, that really is the defining moment yeah. for yeah, Wii U, I think, sure. and, and there's a lot of unanswered questions, so it's tough to say at launch. I mean, Launches yes, it's got, some, weird. it's got some old games, it's going to be Wii. Uh, sports type stuff or we fit in like Nintendo land but well, as it progresses yeah it's, at this point it's almost impossible to have a what we would consider a good launch for a modern system it costs mm-hmm. so much takes so much time to just prepare games to get yeah. used to new mm-hmm. hardware that it's just it's not conceivable Pe- anymore people to have, have to get a really used to it I mean even Nintendo's own teams aren't super familiar with the you know? system I mean, remember, no. remember when PS3 came out guys and there was nothing <laughs> for like yeah ever and yeah. that, now it's a great system that so system took a just, long time to get going even xbox 360 had an awful it's just the reality what about layer gaming? audrey what about yeah. layer, yeah, what about yeah, you layer? factor what five alone <laughs> <laughs> okay factor five gave you you know rogue Brands squadron battle for naboo oh, those yeah. are beautiful gamecube games <laughs> battle for naboo <laughs> <laughs> i love rogue that. squadron i don't know about battle, battle for naboo was good too but mm-hmm. uh Anyway, look, look that one up. I mean, that's the thing. is like even the GameCube launch, um, I mean, it did have Melee, but that came a couple weeks after. But, I mean, most launches are like, kind of weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and what's what's strange to me is that, I mean, Wii U uh, would seem fairly likely that it would have Assassin's Creed 3 at its launch, I think. Yeah. I mean, think, yeah. considering, you know, we expect it to be like mid to late November launch of the system and the rest of the platforms yep. are getting it at late like, October. Why not? Why not, right? So hypothetically, it has Assassin's Creed 3 at its launch, which is shaping up to be really, really something. So, um, you know, and you count in Nintendo Land, which I think, I, you know, those games are really good. Mm-hmm. You know, we're, we're, you know, there are many games, but they're actually really fun. They, they are really them. fun, yeah. yeah. The, the only reason the we've ones been we played at E3? Yeah. yeah. The only I reason we've been good. complaining yeah, sure. at all is that they're not. That's not what I thought they meant. You when want they more. Yeah. I don't want to pay yeah. much, if anything, wanna... for them. Yeah. Packing's the it's best the idea. Thing, I think like, so. if, if I were back in college and money was short, I wouldn't buy that game. Right, right. No. right. To be honest, um, GameCube aside, a lot of times when, you know, especially when I wasn't doing this, like, if a system came out, most of the time I'd just wait. I would. I didn't buy a 360 at launch. I didn't buy. I bought a Wii at launch. Um, but a lot of systems, uh, DS, all these things, I would wait because I would just be like, eventually there'll be a lot of games I want. But yeah. right now mm-hmm. there aren't. And why would I pay a premium price for a system when I know it doesn't have a lot of games? You know, to me, just looking at it from the perspective of a consumer, getting a system at launch to me doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, yeah. The hardware sometimes is faulty. Hello, Xbox. Um, you know, you don't have a ton of great games. Hello, Perfect Dark Zero. You know, you're probably <laughs> paying a lot of money for it. You know, hello, $600 PS3. Like, yeah, just, yeah. why would you do that? Um, yeah. And that, Except Nintendo, because I'm just crazy. So, <laughs> right. You know. But that's the thing, too. I mean, these systems tend to, there's not a huge supply depending. Yeah. And so it is, I think it's likely that Wii U could be in short supply. That doesn't mean uh, that it's going to. You know, live on for seven or eight generations just because it sells out. Sure, I, like, sure, I almost sure. have no doubt they will have press releases about like it's sold out oh, everywhere. Sure, sure, and like, sure. that always yeah. happens. Well, I mean, in Nintendo back in the day, I mean, Nintendo perfected this art where they would deliberately short so yeah, short yeah. supply something so that they could say that to create the, the frenzy. Saying, and, yeah, well, you can't find a Wii U in stores. But I, Fran, yeah. I think you're right that like 2013 is is a telling scenario. It you is, know, yeah. oh. This. Yeah, right I wanted here. to touch on this too. We're looking back at the, the game here. Oh, this is cool. All right, so Fran, describe what Sam is going through right now. Actually, so these were these called like the secret levels, basically. Yeah. So um, th- these are yeah. There's always a secret area and a level. And, you know, I just I was trying to find the one I wanted to play, but this isn't one of them. But you know, the thing about these levels is that you don't have the jetpack. Yeah, normally, they take it away. But I've already beaten it. So Did you say horrible idea. No, it's it's a great idea. Oh, great, yeah. I mean, to be honest, like, you know, we looked at Mario Galaxy and hailed that as such an, a, a, you know, revolution, but what we're looking at here very much looks like oh, Mario yeah, Galaxy. Yeah, and that's what I was talking to, I forget if it was you, Rich, or Sam the other day, I was like, I'm pretty sure, you know, in the history of things, this is where, yeah, like, the Galaxy, kind of like these high-end, yeah, hardcore levels exactly. started, and everybody, the feedback was, once you played Mario Sunshine, you're like, I want more of those, I want more. Yeah, well... But the thing is, is that the, I think the, the big flaw with this is that the camera is horrible. Sure, it's sure. so bad. This game has some camera issues. I mean, and well, and then if you're 3D platforming with Mario, like the camera's got to do so much work for you. It's, yep. It doesn't and, work otherwise. And just to be specific about what Sam's saying, you're jumping through midair and you need to adjust the camera <laughs> yeah. as well as your direction. And it's really complicated. Just but, do that, Sam. <laughs> but yeah. but by the way, if you guys know of any like awesome speed runs or um, anything like that, let us know. And, um, you know, we'll, yeah. we'd love to like, you know, highlight them on the channel. 
or whatever. I haven't seen yeah. some in a while, so. Yeah, I mean, basically what we're looking at right now, I mean, Sam just died as you can hear Mario screaming in, in peril, but, uh, you know, it's it's very 2D-esque platform, very primitive shapes, exactly. the very abstract sensibility of Mario yeah, Galaxy. It's just strict platform. Yeah, like you know? Sam was saying, they take away your water pack at first, and it's, yeah. it's brutal. You it realize brutal. how much you had learned to rely and here, on it. And here it's I only really have cool. my jetpack, so I can't really do anything. But anyway. they're optional oh. secret levels, effectively. Yeah, exactly. So. But they're, well, they're so really fun, spray. great challenge. Yep, it's extended, really you know. Levels. You know, there's, uh, what's cool about this level is that the background is like train tracks, and those are like the crayon train tracks from Yoshi's Island. It's oh, like yeah. a weird, That's weird awesome. connection. Yeah. I love that. I love that when Mario doesn't like, I mean, it's funny, actually, we're talking about how they're trying to go for realistic spaces and they got bathrooms in the hotel and mm -hmm. all this stuff. My favorite type of Mario is the one that doesn't care. It's just like, I'm just going to do whatever I want because I'm yeah. Mario, damn it, and the Mushroom Kingdom's crazy. Well, that's what makes Mario so awesome is that it can just do whatever. Yeah. It can take crazy chances. It just, yeah. whatever is the most yeah. fun. And I think they've done creative. a good job with that, you know, exactly. like. It's Super Mario, Super Mario Brothers 2, 3, yeah. Mario World. I mean, there's similarities in there um, as you go to World. But then, you know, since Sunshine, like, Galaxy was a change from Sunshine. Yeah. I'm really curious if, we're all curious, is it going to be Super Mario, you know, universe, and they're going to exactly. stick with that, or really are they going to do something completely off the wall? I hope they just go crazy. Just yeah. go crazy. Exactly. Um, so back to the news. Um, we're going to have our m more Mario Sunshine talk in a bit. Uh, we actually got a few more comments out of uh, Masahiro Sakurai on mm. Smash Brothers. Oh, yeah. um, as usual, he's being very cryptic, but I think the guy understands that he needs to like talk a little bit Smash Brothers here and there because um, everyone eats it up uh, for every little detail. Um, basically, we got him to comment on the controller situation. Obviously, <laughs> Wii U doesn't support GameCube controllers Which anymore. Which is a huge problem. Eh, it's not a huge problem. <laughs> um, for I, I mean, because we now know that the Wii U Pro exists right yeah so that's very gamecube-esque mm -hmm. but um yeah i mean here in the office basically everybody plays i don't think anybody play would plays um with anything else no, uh, every, everyone controller. who plays smash after work every day is yeah. really concerned about the lack of the gamecube controllers yeah i mean i don't you guys like need to you guys need to let go <laughs> I disagree Sam, I, I mean can't. i think uh i don't want to disagree wanna you think they should be using a controller for 15 no years actually ago? i do i i think it makes sense actually but uh i want to feel what it is too, the, the gamecube yeah, controllers yeah. are like the analog sticks are pretty bad on it now. Like we've come a long way. Like, no, I'd they're like bad on them it. now because like they're worn out. Yeah, exactly. That's like it, but no. I would. No, guys, I know they, they were. No, no, no. You don't want to use the C stick. No, you're the C right. stick. The C well, stick is not a good time. controller. Just, yeah, the, the you didn't C need it for Smash Bros. Yeah, exactly. The C stick is not a good analog stick. The main GameCube stick is pretty good. Yeah, it's definitely solid. It's pretty sensitive. Then I have to ask, like, why do you want a new Smash Brothers if you you love it how it is? Then just just keep playing that one. I'm tired People of it. People are adding a bunch <laughs> of... I want new There's, stages, new characters. No, I, look, they have that. It's called... Uh, what's that expansion? Project that Dem. Just, Project Dem, no, yeah. Yeah, like that's completely away. different yeah, balance. Yeah, Falco so. can't throw his reflector, so screw that. Um, but anyway, I, I think, you know, honestly, we're all afraid of the idea of holding... Well, look, you can... Well, honestly, you're going to have the Gamepad Pro, mm -hmm. right? That's what's called Gamepad uh, Pro? Uh, no, Circle... No. So, no, it's just a Wii U Pro controller. Really? Okay. I believe the gamepad the is the Pro tablet. Controller. Yeah. Yeah, right. It's very Game, confusing. Gamepad is the tablet. Then there's obviously the Wii remotes the and all that stuff. And then I believe it's the Wii U Pro, Pro controller, controller or whatever. I believe, yeah. I believe. Uh, but anyway, you're going to have that. And honestly, like it's going to be like an Xbox controller. And so yeah. that has everything you need for Smash Brothers I think, and uh, beyond. So. Assuming, and to be honest, I actually didn't get a chance to mess with it at E3, even though I know it was summer in there. Um, the Pro? Yeah, the Pro oh, was somewhere. Yeah, I felt it. It's, How's the button quality and everything? Uh, yeah, the controller feels great in your hands. The buttons yeah. are all great. It's shockingly similar to an Xbox controller. It looks which, identical, I mean, it's not bad. That's an amazing controller. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. it's yeah. surprising a little. Yeah, Audrey has betrayed her. She <laughs> likes Xbox more than Nintendo. Um, <laughs> I thought, yeah. Well, yeah, Nintendo's so betrayed Disney. you, actually. They so copied it. Sakurai's comments basically said, you know, GameCube controller is not the only game or, uh, controller on the earth, and, uh, you yeah, know, they're Wiggler evaluating control options, yeah. basically. Simple okay. as that. Hey, go Wiggler. Fair <laughs> enough. Um, yeah, simple. I mean, it was it was a very brief comment in terms of that. Um, he didn't outright say, hey, we're going to use the gamepad, though, so I think that's interesting. Yeah. Like, not that he has to, but, you know, I, you know, it'll be curious to see if they're like, oh, no, well, I mean, remote or what. I mean, couldn't, except for one or possibly two people sure sure so, sure like, i mean you that's... almost have to because you have to center it around how most people are going to be playing it so you'd have yeah. to almost have to do it around a pro controller or something that yeah, or I mean, you, well we you... the we nunchuck and 
you know, remote. Oh, I yeah, it's it's yeah. it's tricky. I mean, the Wii U in general has sort of this controller issue where it's like you only get one. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. that's the thing, right? Is not only that, not only the gamepad issue, but the also the fact that a lot of these games, like in Nintendo Land, are using the remote. So, like, am I getting a remote with the system? Am I, I getting a, am I getting a I nunchuck with it. the system? Like, what are they going to do? You know, I think they're um, banking on that everyone's going to have all their have their old stuff. Around. I think the smartest move they could do is to highly discount the remote so it's cheap, mm-hmm. um, um, but then not pack yeah. it in with the system. So that way, I don't have to yeah. sit there and be like, oh, I'm getting another one of these. Yeah. Um, I know personally, especially if I got a black Wii U, I would go buy black controllers because I think all I have is white ones. Are they still 50 and 30? Do you know? The non- I think so, non-shop? but I haven't acted. Like, I haven't been in the market for a long yeah, exactly. time. Yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> um, and then, uh, so Sakurai also gave us a couple other comments. Um, he said, you know, because we asked him about non-Nintendo characters because the big speculation now is Namco Bandai is making your game, so we're going to see like Pac-Man and Tekken and Soul Calibur and all no. these guys in there. He basically said that while he loved putting Sonic and Snake into Brawl, mm-hmm. and he, you know, he loved that they expanded the universe. He thinks that the more they add that sort of thing, the more the game loses focus. I completely respect. Yeah, this is all about that. the yeah. Nintendo world. Exactly. Yeah. Like, I mean, I think I love having Snake in there, but I think he was a bit of a stretch. Mm-hmm. So I totally respect that decision. I, I would be. And there's so many other Nintendo characters. What about Jigglypuff? <laughs> He's not a stretch. He's just like Kirby. <laughs> Yeah, that's the problem. I mean, I would be fine with Sonic and Snake coming back. I would be okay with maybe you two more. Um, I would I love don't to like see Snake in that Mega game. Man. No, no. Mega well, I don't I like him because Mega of Man. his mechanics. Like it yeah. is like just frag place, bomb. Right? He's gun shell MRS, central. That's MRS. He's definitely yeah. broken. Honestly, Snake. I've seen yeah. videos with Snake that's he just is. ridiculous. Um, I mean, the whole on, game is imbalanced. Yeah. On a but. fan level, though, it's cool to have Snake in there. I just yeah. balance wise, they definitely. That's the thing. There is still improvements to make on that. I mean, game, I really so. hope that the involvement of Namco Bandai Take who out tripping. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, tripping for sure. But, I mean, I hope that the involvement of Namco Bandai allows them to balance the, you know, I don't, I, I'm don't. i not a Tekken expert, I'm not a Soul Calibur expert, but the fact that these guys make fighting games year in and year out, I'm hoping that that leads to better yeah. balancing What excites me testing. most is that they've had experience creating fighters for HD systems, yep, and uh, they, yep. Nintendo never has, Sakurai never has, so yep. that should help expiate that process. Yeah, I hope so. so. Um, should be interesting. Yeah, I mean, the fact that he already has a team up and running makes me somewhat hopeful that we see it in 2013 you know i I wouldn't be surprised if 2014 happens but we'll see um just a couple other bits before we kick it over to sam for sunshine um oh oh oh, sorry i forgot one more sakurai comment um they asked we asked him about uh 3d battling like is there a need you know now that you're going to hd and you know in a way to differentiate and he had previously mentioned that he might he sees some need for smash brothers to have some change you know are you going to put the game in 3d not like 3ds 3d but like 3d based battling yeah yeah. and he said no the game system's complete like fundamentally it works well so there's no need for something like that That or like yeah or making like super complicated controls like i think he's Mm -hmm. very happy with the fundamental idea of the game so yeah it's like street fighter 3d you don't need that right exactly um gold nunchuck a year after Uh, it came out in japan it's available here for 900 (laughs) points which audrey how many games is that approximately a lot about 900 900 dollars worth of games do you guys think it has cool packaging uh, I have no idea. Because I I'll get it if it has like an awesome Zelda package. Do you, or do you have 900 points? They yeah. Just, do you really? Okay. Yeah, I, I was thinking about getting another Game and Watch. Nice, nice. Well, uh, the I comp- just bought like four of those 3DS holder yeah. thingies. Yeah. So. I think it's cool, but like, mm-hmm. I think it's a nice reward actually for people who have participated. Well, a lot of people what, are complaining. Common I think it's funny because like a year after that is really relevant. Now I'm getting it. You know, it's mm-hmm. like I wanted that when I was playing Skyward. I still wanted yeah. it. And now so I don't. Yeah. I mean, I'm still gonna get it just because I'll have. Both Does it of still them. have the the logo and everything? It, uh, or is it know. only gold? I think it's just gold. But the other thing is, is that the actual cord itself is not gold. It's white. So you you know it's this yeah. kind of bizarro like really? yeah, yeah yeah wah wah yeah. Audrey just sort of so like threw sad. a fit in her chair. I did. <laughs> it was a little too many. Things. Whatever. I want a gold game pad for the Wii U. How about All right. That? So yeah. now we now we need to do a little bit of switching or however you guys want to do it. But Sam's got a bunch of history for Sunshine prepared. Uh, he right. went and did some digging on how the game was made and that sort of stuff. So let's actually get Fran. Yeah, we didn't script this, but uh, Fran's gonna play Sunshine. I'm gonna try playing a bit, and, and we're Sam's gonna, let... gonna do some history about Sunshine for us. Right, so Fran can answer some questions because. He was there. So I've been playing forever, guys. So to to Fran's benefit, uh, those of you just listening will not get to see how horrible he is. And uh, you know, but Please. you should go to go. What was it, Fran? Go.ign.com slash NVC video two. If you want to see Fran right about now, start failing at life. Um, hey, Fran, I recommend you go yeah. to the uh, that that roller coaster level that was on. How earlier. could they Sam, get him this, 
is like, so did you guys show the pachinko? You go level? to the cannon to go to that. But if you look up into the light right here, you can uh, you can okay. look. You can go to that shell level you like. All right, Sam. So, Mario history. Yeah. So uh, let's take this back. Hop in our, our time machine and go all the way back to the year 1997, in which an issue of Nintendo Power. That was just going back. That's not. Interviewed no. Shigeru Miyamoto, and he mentioned a little game called Super Mario 128. I remember this. Now stuff. I'm bringing this up, and a lot of people will be like, that did not turn out to be sunshine. <laughs> this is completely wrong. Well, in 1997, nobody knew what it was, and nobody had heard of Mario Sunshine, and all we knew about was Super Mario 128. So interestingly, um, th there was just nothing that happened with that for five more what? years. You're well, not counting the demo? Years. The demo? Yes. That's what I'm going to get to. Okay. So in August 2000, <laughs> sorry, it's just three more years. This Still, this is four years after Mario 64, and there's been not a major Mario game released. You know, it's pretty yeah. amazing. So at uh, Space World, um, a little thing was shown off that was the first GameCube demo Thank you. ever. Ever. Yeah. The first thing we ever saw of GameCube, and what it was was this platform, and it was a bunch of Mario's on it. I don't know if you guys have seen it's a frying pan. Yeah, there's all there's it was. all. Was it? Yeah, the joke was that they were like fried rice. Uh, I don't know. It well, has, it had like a stock, oh, I know. It had like weird stock ticker markings. On so, it. so well, okay, it wasn't actually a frying pan. It's like this inverted. Uh, was it a Mario face or a target of some kind? It was like a big Mario it's face. A GameCube logo. That was it. It was a GameCube logo. Um, but it was like so. What you saw is they were like flipping this dish with. Oh, 128 saying, yeah, yeah. little Marios inside. Yeah, and what they, what, and those Marios are all interacting with each other and uh, still carrying each other off the edge and picking up cubes and stuff like that. And um, they count off the Marios in them, and it goes up to 64 and it stops, and then it goes up to 128 and everybody cries in the audience. <laughs> and, um, but it was amazing. It was a really good-looking video and an interesting tech demo, and um, really nothing came of it. But. In uh, in 2002, or actually, sorry, in uh, it was 2001, at Space World, Nintendo showed Mario Sunshine for the first time. And uh, we actually have impressions from that show. I printed them out here. And it, Sam was like, did you write this? I'm like, I don't, because we forgot to put our names in there. Yeah, back just then. IGN staff for the credit. But it has some pictures. You guys can look it up. It's just Space World 2001, Super Mario Sunshine Impressions. It, it reads like it was written this year about E3. And I mean, this is the same year that the Wind Waker, you know, style Zelda was first unveiled. And it almost in the aftermath of that, I think a lot of people forgot that Mario existed, actually. I remember being like so outraged about Zelda. And I was like, Oh yeah, Mario. I forgot about that. You know. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Anyway, what we got, Sam? So, in this, 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 sh what they showed off was Mario running through the main town area and uh, just not not really doing much. But he had this big jetpack on his back, mm -hmm. and they didn't show it. They didn't show what it did. They didn't really? show anything about water. They just showed Mario running around in this. Uh, you know, pretty realistic looking environment. So all the speculation in this article is comparing it a lot between, uh, comparing it to Sonic Adventure. So it's saying like, this is like a Sonic Adventure take on it. And they call it the still mysterious gadget, a kind of jetpack hose combination strapped to the back and shoulders. Oh yeah. Did they, and so they didn't actually show it functioning, no water or anything like Nothing. that. Huh? Yeah. yeah, and here's another funny <laughs> good, uh, quote good job, from this Nintendo. article. <laughs> I have no idea what it is. Isn't that anymore. They, do, they do the same thing now though. Yeah, they like, do. This is how they debuted they Mario Sunshine. That's here's true. Mario with like a giant machine on his back running yeah, yeah. through a tropical Sam, village. That's right. How do I get out of here, man? I really should have rehearsed just, just here. Just press start. Oh, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Nice. Go to the cannon level. That's the theme. Park you got to get inside the cannon and shoot yourself out yeah. to the level. It's, it's, all, Sam, it's, just, it's, it's over this way. Have we shown that um, crazy pachinko thing that you hate? Or well, here, let's, Sam, you want, let's look do you want uh, Fran to demo that for you? Sorry, on the map here. Show it. Oh, so, there you go. Oh, these are all the places you Man, can go. I forgot yeah. this. So, which place is it again? It is. Uh, Sorry for those of you it's, just uh, listening. We'll be, uh, we'll be hey, back. Hey, there's, there's a lot it's more people no watching. Get with it, people. <laughs> no keep, no, no. What do you think about Mario Sunshine, matter, Rich? Just, just go where How I, wrong I'm is Fran? Write it to NBC <laughs> at IGN.com. Go to what? Oh, you want to go back out. Just go to the can Turn around. Yeah, f okay. turn around. Yeah, this and is important. Face to the left. Okay. And go straight there. See the cannon in the distance? The little red lump? Uh, straight, straight ahead of you. Straight go, ahead? go straight down those buildings and then make yeah. a hard. Is right. it on the island? Look, oh, that, right, that. Right there. Yes, I got it. Okay, okay, okay. thank We're you. Good. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yep. So, um, don't be sorry. Looking at hands-on impressions. So here, how here's Nintendo another hands-on impression from 2001. Not hands-on impression, just eyes on. There's pictures in this article too, off-screen. It says, in one area, he is shown kicking a ball for reasons unknown. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Probably because to kick the ball. Because <laughs> there's some really annoying fruit fruit moving quests in this game. Mm -hmm. 
Um, oh, yeah. So at about this time, uh, this is 2001, right? So Mario Sunshine came out a year from then. And we didn't know about the jetpack or anything like that. Yeah. It got kind of crazy to think about that. Yeah. I, I so, think, if I recall correctly, I mean, this has been a long time, but they didn't really show off anything about the game until E3 the next year. Is that right, Fran? Like Mario Sunshine? It was Space World 2001, and then it was silent until May 2002. Yeah, yeah I mean, they showed Metroid before they showed Mario, right? So, I think so, I yeah. Think so, Some yeah. basic screenshots, at least, or something. Yep. And Mo- Metroid was actually not at the Space World. This was just Zelda and Mario, from my recollection. Yeah. And this yeah. is well, uh, obviously... It's, it's the Mario. It's the Zelda thing. Well, it's just demo Ganon stuff. Link yeah. Fighting each other. Uh, no, 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 no. That was actually the year before that. So oh, that's the what no, happened? I don't think it could what be happened, because that was the first GameCube. No, what happened? At, no, no, no. So, so what happened was at Space World 2000, they unveiled the design of GameCube and then showed that uh, they showed a the test footage of Luigi and Zelda, which everyone was excited for. And then Space World 2001, right on the <laughs> eve of the launch of uh, Japan, and then. Uh, Real close to U.S. launch, they show Zelda, you know, yeah, Wind Waker, yeah. um, but it didn't even look nearly as good as Wind Waker, and they also sh- showed Mario, and everyone was so pissed about Zelda that nobody cared about Mario, which was a shame. Right. Um, so, so yeah. um, some somewhere be- be- between uh, the 128 debut and uh, 2002, like there was a team at Nintendo working really hard in this game. And I was looking up some old interviews with the, with people, like kind of post-release interviews about what was go- going on at the time. And I, I got some cool factoids here. One is that, um, and this a lot of this stuff is coming from an Insider article uh, from 2005. Ooh, by the time Fran was here, that was probably me then. Well, you would have been at IGN by that point. 2005? Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, for sure you. You said it was on. Oh, Insider. Sorry, I used IGN Insider was our subscription site that You're I confusing the yeah. insiders. Ran okay, sorry. Got it. <laughs> so, okay. In this, uh, this is an interview with uh, Takashi Tezuka and Koizumi. Oh, nice. Koizumi, sorry, who, yep. was, who you guys, I think, have interviewed. Right? Uh, Tezuka, I have. Koizumi. I don't know about Koizumi. Yeah. Have you interviewed Koizumi? This is the director and producer. So, yeah. so um, he mentions that uh, they were working on a concept uh, of gameplay using the water pump, but they weren't tying it to a Mario game. So this was like yeah. a completely different game they were working on. And this is so like typical of Nintendo where yeah. they just work on ideas and concepts, but it's not actually any specific, like they don't go yeah. and go, you know, they don't go say like, we're making Zelda. They just work with things and then eventually sort of Zelda or Mario kind of creep yeah. into the picture. Yeah, they do experiments. And, That's their whole thing. Like, yeah. And I should follow up with the 128 demo. That became Pikmin. So right. like when you watch that demo, yeah. it's a bunch yeah. of controlling of 128 mm-hmm. Mario's yeah. on screen, and they're all doing these really high pitched Mario voices, and yeah. they yeah. sound exactly like Pikmin. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, and so like I think I, I think a lot I of remember that, hearing that how Sunshine actually came about was that, that Miyamoto had a bunch of the, just the different teams who had worked on Mario pitch him just different ideas for just an offshoot Mario game while they prepped for the next big one, 128 or whatever, and uh, this is the one that they went with, mm-hmm. Mario Sunshine. Oh, that's so uh, when they when going back to the flood idea though, that's the uh, jetpack on Mario. Uh, you know it provides a lot of like versatility and stuff like that. But they, they couldn't get the design for it down and make it seem very Mario. And I don't think they, the actual they, physical they, design of yeah, flood. They yeah, they weren't they weren't happy with it even in the end. And, you know, there's like a mad scientist in this game that works on it. Dr. Yeah, Dr. Egad. Yeah, and it's, he's uh, in uh, Luigi's Egad. Mansion Professor guy. Egad, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's in Luigi's Mansion. He's in a bunch of like Mario, Mario parties, Luigi. which is really funny. And Mario mm-hmm. and Luigi, yeah. yeah. Uh, but they thought originally, and this is creepy to me, that they were going to make it shaped like a man that was oh. next to Mario. That oh. would have been creepy. That is scary. And they said like it was like a, yeah, like a talking creature, you know, thing that's somebody hanging on his back. Or well, this kind of has that, that though, right? It spits um, water. It'll, it'll, it'll the, turn into like yeah. Look, the talk the pack little. is like a bird, right? So if yeah, you look at it, it's sort of got the the kazooie thing going on. It's got a face. Sure. Or, it is like know. magic kazooie, yeah. Um, so there's also uh, some, some interesting stuff where they talk about uh, the Mario 128 era. There, that that stuff that came out of that went to a couple games, but they were talking about um, doing a co-op game from uh, from that point, and that right. didn't end up in this game, but it really ended up in Mario 64 DS. Hmm. And I think like mm-hmm. parts of Mario 128. Uh, the development of that all, all went into that. I mean, this game became so many different games. And then another thing from that tech demo, from the 128 demo, is that they're running on like a globe at one point, like yeah, the galaxy. Gra- yeah, and that's where they. Mm-hmm. That tech- that's so long before Galaxy. Did. It's yeah. funny that I mean they've even said that like even just looking at something like New Super Mario Brothers, the idea of multiplayer Mario games existed forever. Franz got his camera in a building. Yeah, now. I was doing uh, that intentionally. Here's a quote about the uh, the <laughs> sure. resort and islands. What what Audrey was talking about. Oh yeah. 
Uh, about the art style, there was a lot of discussion amongst the designers. We brought and studied many photographs of resorts and islands. There are some staff who visit a resort in the southeast of Asia. Huh. So I, I have a feeling like, you know, a lot of this might be based on a real place. And I'm going to do a little bit more research That'd to figure that cool. out. Yeah, yeah. Hey, coincidentally, I booked my, my honeymoon for Hawaii last night. So oh, nice. Nice. I'm going to be having a Mario Sunshine-esque vacation soon. Awesome. Hopefully. Nice. Over Christmas, um, uh, Sam Fran can't get through. Oh wait, no, no, no never mind. This he fell. Hard. I, I, yeah, I, I wanted to ship. This is. This you wanted is... To it looked like you wanted to flip through that gate. One I of those flipper did. gates. Yeah, Fran, uh, Fran's in oh. the uh, the so theme I park level. <laughs> I wanted to and he's trying to climb camera. the back of this uh, this gate, roller coaster. These gate things, yeah. I was showing this because like the pachinko level, which is what I originally wanted to go to. I can share where that is. This game has like some camera issues at points that no. some people I talked no to, one they would guess. <laughs> yeah, they, they stopped playing, you know, they were right. like, well, I can't handle it. And I was like, most of the game is to, pretty awesome. To be yeah. perfectly honest, I never beat Sunshine because I was working through it and I was fine with it back in the day. It's funny because looking at it now, it looks way cooler than I thought it was back then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, I was just messing with it. And then uh, basically Prime came out before I had ever completed yeah. Sunshine. And back, back then, well, this is still a problem I have if I'm not oh playing God. a game for review, but I, uh, uh, we'll just be like, ooh, a new game, shiny, and then I'll just go play that one. I'm yeah. like, oh wait, what was I playing? You missed a really but crazy Prime final is... boss fight. I know, I know. <laughs> oh Speaking gosh. of the final boss fight, um, we're going to go do a special spotlight on that, that on IGN at some point um, soon. Uh, we actually want to highlight Mario Sunshine a couple times throughout the month because it is its 10th anniversary. So, so in terms of history, I've gotten to uh, Super Mario Sunshine's release date, which uh, we nice. wrote a review on August 22nd, 2002, and I just wanted to... Uh, I wrote that. Yeah, I wanted Fran to kind of like talk about at that point how you got Nintendo games in the office and what it was like when you <laughs> got it. It's much the like same that. format now, I suspect. Um, you know, Nintendo, back then especially, they didn't really send us games ahead of time. Um, at best, you might get to go play it somewhere at a hotel or mm -hmm. at their offices up in um, Seattle um, and Redmond at the time. So uh, it was very traditional that their biggest games came out in Japan first. So we imported the Japanese version, and um, I largely played and beat it on that, and we did that early. Um, Sam's going to grab the controller because mm -hmm. I can't really speak and play, and we've all seen that I can't play right now either. So <laughs> I did a review of the game. It's just been so long. I'll go to the pachinko level. But anyway, a simple a answer mess. is had to bring in the Japanese version, and thankfully, you know, their games don't always have a ton of text. So yeah. it was not that big of a deal. Um, yeah. And in a game like Smash Brothers, we did the same thing. I, I, it was launched in Japan first, right. so we played everything there. And um, with Smash Brothers, you can actually, tr you know, it's got English in it. Yeah. So. Yeah, it was kind of transparent. I mean, Cass Messina and Boson did that with Brawl. Actually, my, my, the story, I mean, I've told Audrey this like two times at least, probably ten times actually. <laughs> um, but they they had it in the uh, Brawl in the office for so many months before the release here mm -hmm. that by the time it came out here, I was kind of tired of it because we yeah, played it every day. It and so then much. after a while, we're like, oh, yeah, that game came out. I was like, yeah. oh, yeah, it's actually yeah. coming out here. It's weird. Yep. I remember my roommate at the time was like so excited. He's like, oh, man, I cannot wait to play Brawl. I'm like, yeah, yep. it's fine. But, anyway, um, so you reviewed it on Japanese. But yeah, version. so, well, I mean... I, at the end of the day, we verified, you know, the U.S. version sure. at that time, so we waited until that point in time. But it was, you know, the same game, obviously. It's just localization. Um, mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I think the big thing that's come up is the score, uh, mm -hmm. is the 9.4. Uh, that honestly yeah, seems yeah. fine to me, but I, yeah, I, I, mean, I like to give you crap because you're regarded as such a hard reviewer, Fran. <laughs> that only because of Mario Kart Double Dash. <laughs> like, there's so many, like, Metroid uh, Prime What was that Double Dash two. score again, Fran? Tell us. What seven nine. Seven nine. It's seven, not a nine. day goes by where Fran doesn't mention this. By the way, he's like, yeah. "Remember, I'm known for that score." I'm That's like, not I what I say. I know, Fran. I know. But, uh, I read the review when it first came out. Well, all I do is manage a bunch of video crap now. So <laughs> remember the only thing I, I have to hold on to. Things? I'm gonna go um, tell all your direct but, reports that yeah. I just yeah. manage video crap. Yeah. <laughs> right. I didn't say they were crap. It was a video crap. Like this po video podcast room that I spent oh, hours for setting the up for us. People are watching their eyes bleed right now. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, the, this is the so bad. Up. This is uh. so it's re yeah. This is what I was getting at. So as I reviewed the game, and I'm glad mm. that you're here when we're talking about it. I was enjoying it like so much. There's by the way, the mechanics of the water, just the feeling, mm. and I think that's one thing for Mario for me that has always stood out. Like mm. the friction between his feet and the ground, the yes. way he turns, There's you know, such a yes, crispness so to it. It feels it great, perfectly. and yep. I love it. And the camera is legitimately a problem at points, like mm -hmm. we've been showing. And I got here, and legitimately, <laughs> I was like, "This is broken." They shipped like a fairly broken product, and <laughs> Sam literally, yeah, he's like shaking the controller and, and wincing. And and this was one of the only areas. 
areas that I heard people gave up and it just annoyed the crap out of them. And, well, and, and for I that got, reason, I, I give a shout out to you because this is my uh, this is I brought in the save for this. And it, people might have noticed that it's 100 percent all the all the uh, blue coins and everything, which is really tough in this game. Yeah. And uh, a friend of mine lent it to me at the time, my friend Steve Day. So, so reference for this is uh, this is based on Pachinko, which is huge in Japan. Oh, yeah. Like, Pachinko machines are everywhere. So that's what this is. If you're just looking at this and, and you're like, I don't know what this looks yeah. like. What is this thing? <laughs> Didn't um, anyone ever watch it's, the prices, right? Yeah, I mean, that's – right, right, right. But they, they – what are they, they – do they call it pachinko? Uh, it might have had right? a different or? name, but it was anyway, pachinko. Same idea, right? Yeah. You drop a little. The idea is you drop a little peg. In this case, Mario down about you know series of pegs or you know and cool you try idea, and but get stuff. I don't know why they this didn't yank it from the game. Well, it's just that the rejection for it it sends you out of the level. Right. Mm-hmm. So if you miss one of the yeah. the spots and you're supposed to land in, you, you die. Yeah. You die, and then you have to go. I mean, you have yeah. to get all and the points again. Sam, and was this based on luck? I mean. Yeah. It's like you're gonna, uh, and this is a little so bit pinball bad. too. I think it's a, a bit of a blend. And Sam, actually, what what is going on right now? You're sliding back to the entryway behind yeah. the actual board. Yeah, okay. that's the good sort of rejection where you you fall behind the pachinko board, but then there's the bad sort. Oh god, where you and get just, just launching is difficult. Yeah. yeah, but then there's the bad kind where right. you get to the bottom of. Uh, oh, it's gonna happen, I think. Oh yeah, the problem is it's really hard to control yourself in midair. But why aren't you using your jetpack? Be- because I have the black. To get here, you, you use the blast jetpack. Oh, pack. so you're out of it. You're out no, of it. I, yeah, well, I you wasn't know what? Out. It's just, you don't. You, you don't have any that of it. Awkward. You just this game's not about this level. I think it's yeah, one of the things they should have pulled from the game. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, I, looking back, I'd say I was. Uh, I actually feel like maybe I, I scored a little high in some mm-hmm. aspects. But you know, like any game, there is no such thing as a perfect. Course, like you can't yeah. give it the score. It, absolutely deserves there's no such thing it's a very personal oh, yeah, thing yeah. the other thing too Wait, what is did you give it a 9.4 a 9.4 well and it clearly wasn't a 9.3 <laughs> yeah duh well i mean the thing the thing that i would point <laughs> out though is that uh looking at a score in hindsight is not really fair because no. times have changed a score in a certain time of frame you know of a system's life is very different than looking back at it 10 years later oh, i mean we were all talking about when we were booting this up and getting ready to do this podcast how well this game holds up yeah and you still and, look and, at and it, though, Fran and there's was, a ton of issues. Yeah, and well, Fran was talking about how it didn't have the, the best graphics on GameCube, and, like, it wasn't that great. And, like, I'm looking at it now, I'm like, are you kidding when me? When did he say that? It's just that in the review. It's like, oh, oh, like sure. It's better well, that is, now that is true. Like, and, like I'm this seeing, game like, looks great. And, like, heat effect and beautiful water effect, and it's but, just like, okay. this looks contemporary to me. It, the game looks great. I think you're taking it out of context a little, Sam. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll have to pull up my quote, uh, but what I was getting at is, I mean, look at Metroid Prime. I got it right here. I mean, Metroid Prime is a work of art. Yeah, give me the yeah. quote. Um, but legitimately, <laughs> Matt, like, he's got the quote all I was saying you. was... What, they, what I'm uh, saying here is that these are bad guys. Here's what it was based on, too. Art style. Box. Like, sure. I don't like the cabana shirts and stuff. Like, I don't like the character oh. design. And if you, So read my review. It's Not pretty... It's pretty well-rounded. Like, what I said was... <laughs> Fran hates Hawaii. You play Confirmed. this game, and you actually Hate feel... You, you feel a little bit like it's a vacation from the Mario games. <laughs> Miyamoto himself. I, I kind of like that, to me, personally. I think it's fine, yeah. I think it's Very cool, yeah. And yeah. I love I like the water it. pack. I absolutely do. You know, do, what's so. funny, though, is that... So, at the time of this, I was sitting there going, I wanted another Mario 64, and you didn't give me a Mario 64. That's what everybody was saying, yeah. Exactly. And everyone was wanting that. That now in hindsight, now that we have Galaxy and we have yeah, Galaxy well Two, and then we have all these other classic 2D esque approaches and 3D land and all this stuff. Now we look at this and we're like, man, this is awesome. Yeah. It's so different than Galaxy. It's yeah. so like you know, and, it's changed yeah, pace. Yeah. yeah, it's now become vintage. That means it's awesome. Totally, so. that's exactly what it is. And like <laughs> yeah, you said, Rich, I mean, it's all perspective. Now, yeah. if they release something like this brand new, you'd be like, oh, what a cool idea because yeah. you've already seen exactly. all these other things. But yeah. for the record, no amount of vintageness will make me like Animal Crossing. Oh, well, right back to that. Though, really? <laughs> no, but so, um, you're lost, man. <laughs> no, it's it's a fight between. But us if you haven't played Sunshine, I mean, and you have a Wii, yeah, you yeah, absolutely out. should. Um, yeah, and I mean, you're you're right. Like, I think some games like Mar- Metroid Prime, but those games only come across like once in a decade. True, maybe. but this yeah. is this is yeah. Nintendo's flagship above all. Sure. Um, I mean, absolutely. Zelda obviously important, but yeah. for me. Definitely loved what they did. They mm-hmm. spent so much time getting the water pack right. I feel like some of the other elements were tad off. But you mm-hmm. know, it's one of the most memorable themes like, for music came out of this for me. I can hum it, you know, to this day, obviously. Just and the, it's in Smash Brothers too. The main theme. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, Fran, do we have time to do reader mail? Or should we save that for another edition of NBC? We're, we're pushing it out. I think why don't you do a couple questions and then right. wrap it up? Audrey, pick the two best questions oh, you possibly no pressure. can. Look how beautiful this level is. The wall. While, while Sam shows off this it level, Audrey looks awesome. for something. This is one of my favorite levels, actually. This is awesome. I remember this one. Oh, this I'm just going to pick two random ones. Yep, that's the one. They're all awesome. And Make the them best. good. Hi, NBC. Long time listener, first time writer here with a burning question. What's that their name? That uh, sounds painful. Uh, that doesn't say. Well done. 
Anyway, then hopefully you put to rest my fears over the 3DS XL. Being an ambassador, I'm wondering how the GBA games look on the XL. Mm. Being that they're already stretched on the normal 3DS screen, are they blurry or just bigger and more of a good thing? I'm really interested in that in the NS ga- uh, all, NES games, too. It's all and you, also, Audrey. I haven't set this also up. Also blue or red. Yeah, that's one of the first things I checked, actually, and they look great. They're just bigger, honestly. They're not blurry or not more pixelated or anything. So those games, the DSiWare games, all of those just transfer perfectly. Even They look even better than like the DS games where that's not exactly mm-hmm. perfect when it stretches out. Though. So those look great. No worries on that. Uh, as for blue or red, uh, it's a personal preference. They both look great. I think blue l- looks better personally. I really but, don't uh, like the colors still. They're both still really don't, nice. I'm still not a fan. I, I, so. I want a white one. I don't I mean, that, when I actually got the blue one in, and that's the one that I have now, yeah. I... I grew to love it because at first when I saw the colors, I was like, "You, this well, I mean, is boring." Yeah, a few, I, they're nice in person. A few points for you guys thinking because I mean, the XL comes out here in about a week and a half, I think, something yeah. like that. Um, the XL, I mean, the, the 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 blue and the red colors look better in person than they do, they do. Um, they have, like, this on the press shimmer, assets. Metallic shimmer There's thing. a slight metallic yeah. to them. I would say the blue has much more of a metallic tone to it than the red does. Yeah. Um, I have the red one in it, and it's cool looking. I think the problem though is that we know the white one exists. Yeah. That's yeah, the problem. That one's and we we have a white one in the office and you know when you just sit there going like oh man you know yeah. so the white one's really cool looking i do think that the blue one and the red one are pretty good looking if you like the two tone black and blue or red mm-hmm. um it wasn't i i'm not as frustrated about that notion as i was uh um, a couple months ago when it yeah, was revealed yeah, yeah. i think this i have not seen the silver and black one though um which no, i assume I looks kind of cool person, too yeah. um I like but anyway. that it's black on the inside because it's like less distracting cool. around the screen got but another anyway, question yeah uh this is from warren collins in chicago do you guys remember the rumors a while back saying valve steam and ea's origin were fighting to be on nintendo's wii u with uh. nintendo making their new console fully capable of downloading full games i'm thinking this may be true mm-hmm. um he's basically asking if they're steam. maybe thinking of reve- revealing this later when they reveal launch because they Steam. just uh, yeah, Steam right, is coming, right, right. especially since Toki Tori Two was just uh, sure it was confirmed for, for Wii, U. Wii U and it's also coming out on Steam. Yeah. I personally don't think so. That just feels not very Nintendo to me. Yeah, um, I personally don't think that's the case at all. Yeah, particularly just because uh, yeah, I just I just they don't like think to they'll do it. Very strict control over they, their services like that. I just they don't do see their them own thing. Yeah. You know, I w- I mean. Yeah, just, eShop is their version of Steam. Yeah, and like, the Toki Tori 2 thing, I don't think that is related, honestly. It's just no, that it's, it's coming to both. Yeah, it's just it's coming to both. Game, yeah, so I, I wouldn't look too much into it. No, I really just don't see that happening. And, and traditionally, Nintendo's decisions and ideas come very much through Japan. And, mm-hmm. you know, Steam's very much an American-based Yeah, so probably service. don't hold your breath. I don't, I don't see I mean, it happening. We don't happening. know for sure. But no, sure, sure. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, again, like we were talking earlier, you know, I would certainly expect a lot of these details to be coming Soon, soon. Pretty soon. Yeah, it just yeah. it just seems likely. So, um, anything else quick before we get out of here? Anything like yeah, we really need to? Hour. We haven't we haven't you We're know like this. yeah we haven't. Uh, well, it's cool. You get to see the game for an yeah. hour. Um, mm. We haven't done this in a little while. So right, this is something we were sort of talking about earlier. Right, cool. Someone recently saw an article on CNN from this year's E3. Uh, CNN went hands on with the Wii U. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember this. They this wrote about it, and I, and I read it actually, and they really do make it sound like it's just an accessory, even after their new conference and everything so he's wondering if 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 cnn after all of that still is confused about whether it's an accessory or a new system is this going to harm cells um you know i mean first off whether the cnn is still confused i mean that's a question for cnn but um yeah that's you know i I, yeah it could it could certainly if you've got a big out uh, you know outlet like cnn going oh yeah you know and especially if they're on tv saying that although no one watches cnn but like you know if the the general idea amongst mainstream press and news outlets news organizations newspapers tv yeah. series stuff like that um are saying that that's not yeah. good that i mean it help. illustrates the problem so yeah. Yeah. yeah and we had i mean i've heard it from other people and like we brought down our host from ask men um to, to host during yeah, e3 yeah, and yeah. she was like taking in all this new yeah, video game yeah, stuff yeah. like mm-hmm. there's so much at once and she literally she, asked that well the question she asked was i thought was even more interesting was she like i had to tell her you can't take the tablet with you and right. go somewhere and play these yeah, games. Because yeah. that's like, your what? impulse. That's your impulse. Is like, I'm yeah. just going to take this And when she somewhere. said it, I was like, oh, yeah. man, they have so much to clarify it's, it's like, crazy, around yeah. the... It's not a, just an extension to the Wii, and yeah. it's also not a tablet that you can like, throw in uh, your bag or purse and like take with yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Not that we know. And that, Well, no, you can't. I mean, they've, <laughs> no. they've connects right to some master that. cloud somewhere yeah. uh, someday, yeah. but I and actually, highly doubt it. So speaking of... another Yoshi's Island background. Oh, that's cool looking. Oh, that's beautiful. That's so funny. 
I, I forgot that they did that in the background. Uh, like uh, so speaking of that, and to close out the podcast, I actually have a question for everybody watching and or listening to this. You have to email us, though, at mvc at IGN.com with your answer, because I'm not going to go looking at the comments to find this uh, email. <laughs> Uh, I, know, I know. I'm making this sound for Well, me. you can, You know what? Honestly, in the article itself, you, if you guys answer it in there and upvote the ones you like, the answers you like, that's fine. So I have a question for you guys, and you guys answer it. And uh, who knows? Maybe it actually is helpful in some capacity. What about Wii U do you really need to know? Like, if you're, like, especially if you're, like, a little undecided or apprehensive about the system or, you, hell, maybe you think the thing sucks or something like that. Or maybe you know a friend that does. Ask them this question. What about the system do you need to know or do you want clarified or are you feeling uneasy about that that you you know that maybe you want Nintendo to answer or maybe you know you see it through our coverage or something but what are the what are the things you need to know mm -hmm. that are keeping you from being enthusiastic about the system because it seems like a lot of you are a little kind of like I don't know yeah. so I, I want to know do a little experiment for us go ask your mom sure. <laughs> about the Wii U just without giving her any background and see if she understands that it's a new system if or understand. if it's just a new controller just. And just to see. Yeah, gonna, they're going to get yelled at. Wait, you want another system? <laughs> Gosh, you're always bothering well, me. Thanks also, I mean, honestly, <laughs> I'd, I'd be curious to see if, you know, if your parents own a Wii, if they actually would buy a Wii U yeah. and why or why not. Well, so that's another thing working things. against them, honestly, and it goes back to what we were talking about earlier, is that the branding is so close to Wii that, I mean, the, the reason that everyone in the country went out and bought a Wii is because it was such a new thing. It was yeah. just the new crazy thing, and also Oprah told them to do it. Yeah. That's a whole other thing. <laughs> uh, but this, Oprah like, wants no, a Wii. No Oprah now. I mean, it's called, yeah, there's no Oprah now, and yeah. it's called Wii U, and the branding's similar, the marketing's similar, so it sure. just seems like an extension of Wii, even if it is a completely different thing, we don't entirely know yet, so, I mean, I don't know if that's going to propel people to feel like they have to go out and get the new one, when the one they have is probably collecting yeah. dust with Wii Fit. And that's the question, so, it, yeah, it's challenging, because yeah. they didn't name it, like, Wii 2, or Wii... 64 yeah. or 128. You just, you just totally. Yeah, like, yeah. Are they gonna buy Sam, compared to me, to you look like a genius. So I haven't played in forever, and I was leveling the soundboard just for All the right, moment. so we're going to wrap this up. <clears throat> Answer our question, mvc.ign.com or the article on IGN. Give a, give a rating to that. Um, let us know what you think of this. If there's something you'd love to see about that, or you know, whatever. Yeah, this is very experimental right now. We're still trying to figure out format and things like that. So yep. just let us know what you think, and if this is if the people who only listen to the audio version, did this still watch work the video for you? version? Yeah. Well, watch the video version, but first tell us like, did it still work for you? You yeah. know, or were there too many long pauses of us staring at Sam's handiwork? So I mean, I think you know, to be perfectly honest, us transitioning into this sort of dual video audio format is definitely the way we're gonna go. But we. You know, we did hear you when we were asking, what do you think about a video MVC? And you guys said, well, make sure you keep the audio. And I think, you know, that is definitely part of our plan. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, give us your thoughts on both the video, the audio, and uh, answer that question I asked you guys. So uh, until Tell next time. Yeah. yeah. Later, Googling. And if you want to see us beat this game. Yeah, we're tune coming in. soon tune to IGN. Coming soon. And, and for now, we're going to let Sam play us out as well. So. Cool. Sounds good. Bye, everybody. Good luck, Sam. <laughs>